Tim. I've got uh, one so far. 555, so we'll see how the rest of this workout turns out. Thursday morning. Thursday morning, so I'll let you guys know how this workout goes. Just got done with the workout. I stopped after four. I hit 555, 556, 602, and about a 606. So it's going downhill, so I just decided to call it. That's a mile further than what I did last time, the uh, 6x800. So total time spent above race pace was three miles last time, 6x800. Today is four miles faster than race effort, half marathon pace. So I'm not trying to rush it or overdo it. So that's good enough for today. And this weekend I got a long run, maybe 15, 16 miles at moderate pace. You know, and I'm on pace for another about 60 mile week. So things are going good. And I got a 3.5 mile jog back to the house. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Get ready for work. And you know, it was a good start to the day. I know I, I might be a little bit tired throughout the day, but it was well worth it. You know, I enjoy pushing myself, you know, doing these types of things. So we'll see you back at the house or maybe later if I don't do another follow-up video. Okay guys, main takeaway from that workout was <clears throat> work at your own pace, work at your own level, you know. Most uh, training manuals, training plans will tell you to run about five to six, sometimes even 10 by one mile. But um, you gotta listen to your own body sometimes. I've been doing this for, you know, well over 30 years now, actually training and racing since the age of about four or five. So over the years, I've learned that you gotta stay where you're at train at your level current level and to not um, look too much outside of what other people are doing yeah they can help you but sometimes they can make you doubt what you're doing yourself so trust your training and you know um, make the best call for yourself you know that's what being mentally tough is all about is knowing yourself and making the right call you know all right guys thanks